kind of a weird topic, um, but I feel it's important because so many people look at people with seizures and all they see is like the seizure itself. They don't see the side effects of what comes with having seizures. Um, so I'm going to talk about side effects that there's so many side effects. So I'm gonna pick one. And the one that affects me the most. And then probably a video will drop later on talking about another thing, like another side effect that really, really affects me. Um, so let's dive on in and hopefully it'll make sense. So this is actually going to be basically a story of my life. Um, so it's going to be memory loss. Um, I have struggled with memory loss since like I, for years, like I, I can't remember how long it's been because I'm on so many freaking uh, medications right now. I take like 32 pills a day or 36. <sighs> and I used to think I was dumb. Like for years, I just thought I was a stupid human being, right? I had to work two to three times as hard as everyone in my um, cast when I did plays because I couldn't remember the lines as easily as they could. And I was like, why can I not remember the lines? Why is algebra so hard? Why can't I remember the quadratic formula? Why can't I remember everything I've studied for? Like, why, why? And I knew I'd put in the effort. I knew all that, but I just felt like I couldn't. And so I had an emotional breakdown at the doctor's office and it was because I'd gotten my first like D ever in my life and I was homeschooled so we really didn't do grades um and I was trying my hardest to get through college and I couldn't I kept dropping out and I just had like this emotional breakdown and she was like what's wrong and I said I got my first D and I don't know it's, it's it's an emotional roller coaster having epilepsy and she goes well you know like the main side effect of epilepsy is memory loss and I was like what and so suddenly I kind of felt better about myself because I didn't feel so stupid anymore like there was a logical reason behind forgetting all my lines there was a logical reason behind um, forgetting simple things, like just getting out of bed and the first thing you do, you know, wash your face, brush your teeth, like stuff like that. Like there was a logical explanation. And so I came up with a system and a lot of people ask me why I'm not in college right now. Simple answer, because I, I can't do it. First off, it's very stressful, which I will dive into at another point and at another time. Um, and that's a big seizure trigger for me. Like, I was having so many seizures that I had to go home. So, um, but main, main reason I dropped out is because I couldn't remember anything the teachers were teaching me. I was like, what am I going to do with this prerequisite? Rex anyway because like I am currently running a dance studio and I'm pretty proud of that um so talking about how life hacks that I learned and hopefully this will help someone out there with epilepsy if memory loss is also one of your like main things um I started doing I guess what people older people do um, I don't know, maybe you're in your 80s and you have perfect memory and I applaud you. I am in my early 20s and have like zero memory. Okay, so 
I started writing post-it notes and there are post-it notes like all over my house. The first thing I do when I wake up is I write a list of everything that I know I have to do that day. And then I'll tape it somewhere to where I'm constantly reminded like, oh yeah, that has to be done today. And plus it gives me a lot of satisfaction just like crossing that off. Um, if it's a bigger thing, like a bigger issue besides like, oh, brush my teeth, read my Bible, um, wash my face, you know, stuff like that. If it's something like back when I did do plays during high school, memorize my lines, like I had to write reminders. Basically, I painted my room with reminders and um, it's kind of a miracle that I got big roles anyway. Um because they knew my situation and they still gave me big roles and for that I'm thankful. Um, I got a good experience out of it and I really was, I mean, God got me through. Um, one time I forgot like all my lines a week before performance and um, due to medication and they just came back to me so it was really nice. I think the biggest thing is people get offended like if I don't remember their name and they've told it to me four to five times or if I don't remember a memory that we have together that's so like super special and I'm like whoa we did that and they're like Caitlin yeah we did and um it's it's it's, it's weird like my brain is in a constant fog and I I've tried different things, natural methods. Um, the diets that I've tried have not helped lift that forgetfulness, but they have helped me with um, energy, which is nice. So I guess like overall, I've tried lots of different things, but my hacks would be just write lists if there's something super important put it on a post-it note post it set alarms on your phone my big thing is i forget to eat because i have no appetite whatsoever so i set reminders on my phone that will go off and will remind me to eat i also have a mom who reminds me to eat so that's great and just if it's something big like say you're taking a plane trip or just just a big event like prior to that big event just remind yourself about it every day make notes uh, I'm an overthinker so I will like write the list two weeks in advance of what I need to take or something like that and then I will slowly and surely just keep reminding myself that I'm headed somewhere or something. And then when I do get to feeling like I'll never accomplish anything in life because of my memory problem, um, I do this thing and maybe it'll help you if you have epilepsy, maybe it won't, but I write how I'm feeling and I also write how I'd have this like great life and just, I mean, I do have a good life, but just, just basically an imaginary life. And it, it really helps me. So it doesn't help with the whole memory thing. It just makes me feel better about myself. So that's what I do. Um, next one coming at you as far as, oh, oh, oh. And if you meet someone with epilepsy, do not make fun of the fact that they cannot remember things. And if they're legitimately saying like, hey, I have a memory problem, do not. And I'm very like passionate about this. Do not say, oh, you're just saying that. It's a real thing. Medication effects are a real thing. And I'm on a ton of medication crap. So... They are lowering it though, so that's really nice. Um, so anyway, kind of a crazy video, but thank you, much love. Praying for everyone out there having to deal with isolation and also 
um, anyone who's sick or knows someone who's sick. Love y'all.